Hello, this is a video tutorial on using the Los Lunas Public Library's homepage. What will you learn from this tutorial? We hope that you get a better understanding of the services that are provided through our library using our homepage. It'll be important for you to have your library card number as well as your PIN number so that you can utilize these services. If you don't have these numbers handy, please feel free to call the library and we can help locate those numbers for you. Libraries offer so much more than a building full of books. In addition to being able to check out books, DVDs, and audiobooks, you can also utilize our computers within the building as well as many other programs. But we offer a lot of our services online. Here are a few examples of those services that you can access. First, we're going to start by visiting the library homepage. If you go to loslunasnm.gov, that'll be the main homepage for all the village. You can then find the library page under departments. On this page, there's quite a bit of information that could be useful to you. One thing that's helpful on the right side of the page is the contact information. This includes the address, the phone number, as well as the hours of operation of the library. In the middle of the page is all the updates that we post. These are posted periodically for anything that's coming up at the library, including our calendar or any other announcements that are important for the public to know. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice that there are many different areas here that you can click on. The first one at the top is the card catalog. Once you click this link, it'll take you to our online catalog. This tells you everything that we have in our collection. You can see if there is an item that we have and you can see if it's available. And if it's not available, you can also place it on hold. To do that, just log in on the top right hand corner of this page. You can do a lot of things from this page once you're logged in. You can manage your account, place hold, you can renew items that are already checked out, and you can create lists of things that you would like to read, even if those items are not currently checked in. The next link will take you to the Kindle, ebook, and audiobook checkout. This will take you to our online site, which is Overdrive. You can borrow ebooks and audiobooks from here. What you'll want to do is go to the sign in screen. It'll ask for your library card number as well as your PIN. This is one of the resources that we offer that you don't have to have a library card to use. Once you go to the sign in screen, it will ask you if you don't have a library card, you can choose Instant Digital Card. You will still be linked to our library through your address and your zip code. It will then give you access to our online books and ebooks and audiobooks that you can check out. A common question is what device can I use? You can use these digital resources in many different ways and you can borrow these items using cell phones. There are friendly versions for Apple products as well as Android devices. You can also use tablets. These include many different tablets, as well as Amazon Fire tablets and Amazon Kindle readers. For these two versions, you will need to download the apps. There is an OverDrive app that you can use, as well as a Libby app. Information on both of these apps are available on the OverDrive homepage, which was linked in the previous slide. You can also use a laptop or a desktop computer to utilize these services. So what type of formats can you find on OverDrive? You can find eBooks, audiobooks, as well as videos. You can search any of these types. You can put a filter so that you can search for the, these specific formats that you're looking for through OverDrive. Common questions, where do I start? We showed you where you're gonna sign in. You gotta go to that sign in screen to start. And once you sign in, you'll be able to unlock all of the features on there that you'll be able to borrow. So what do I do when I'm finished with my items? 
You can return the items early. There is a, a box that you can select once you're finished to return. So that will enable you to check out other items. If you forget and you don't do this, the items will return themselves at the end of your lending period. Another question is, can I use these online services and still check out physical books? Yes. You can still check out books within the library and those limits are set depending on what type of card you have. And if you have more questions on those, you can certainly call the circulation desk. Another common question is, I keep getting an error. What can be holding me up? If you have physical items checked out that are overdue or you have fees on your account, then you will not be allowed to use the overdrive page. It is linked to your library card and if you have anything holding up your card, including your card being expired, you will not be able to use this service. If you need help figuring out what might be holding your account up, please give the library a call and we can help you with that. The next service we offer is our mobile print service. You can print from home, from your mobile devices, your tablets, your phones, Anywhere, you can be in the library or not in the library. To use this service, click that link on our homepage and it'll take you to this screen. It'll ask you how, what documents that you want to upload directly to our printer. When you're ready, just come up to the circulation desk and you can pay for your prints. Those are 15 cents a page and we take cash, small bills only please, and you can uh, print those directly to our printer. If you print from home, those will stay in our queue for 24 hours. So please make sure you use that timing well so that you can come by and pick up your prints without them being deleted from our system. The next thing we're going to talk about is Heritage Quest. Heritage Quest is great if you're doing genealogy research. There are a lot of services out there that require you to pay to use their subscription. Through this link, you can use our subscription using your library card. Heritage Quest does have a version that you have to pay, but as long as you use the link that is directly on our website to log in with your library card number, you will not have to pay to utilize this service. This has quite a few different resources when doing genealogy research, including census records, burial records, and uh, a lot of different information like that. The next thing we're going to talk about is Mango Languages. Once you click that link on our, on our web page, it'll take you to this screen. It's also important that you use the link on our web page so it takes you to the correct format of Mango Languages because it is linked to our library. It will ask you to log in and you will use your library card number. Once you log in, you'll have full access to the program and there will be no charge. They offer many different languages. Here are a few of the most popular. There's French, German, Italian, Russian, Spanish, and a crowd favorite is Pirate. The next link will take you to the Museum of Heritage and Arts. Did you know that the library has a special collection branch? The museum offers many different unique resources. They have a circulating library. They have a library that you can use on site with some older books, some books that are also out of print, a lot of New Mexico history books. There's also a unique library of local yearbooks. Some of these date back to the 1930s. These are available to look through. They are not available to check out though. They also have rotating and permanent exhibits that you can visit year round. They also have more resources for genealogy. They have some items there that you can look through that they have hard copies of, but they also have access to Ancestry. Throughout the year, they have ongoing tours, presentations, and guest lectures. Stop by and visit the museum so you can see their wonderful exhibits that they have. You'll notice that the museum has their own page as well. Their page is similar to the library with the same format. However, they have different links there on the left-hand side for different services that they offer. 
please visit their page so you can see the services that you can utilize as well. The next link on the library page is the El Portel page. This will link you to the State Libraries page. There are many different resources on their page that you can utilize as well. The first one that you'll see here is Academic OneFile. This is great if you're doing research or if you're needing access to scholarly articles. All of the articles on here are scholarly and are peer reviewed. The next link is the Business Insight Essentials. This has news, stats, and reports and provides an in-depth coverage of companies and industries. The next link is BrainFuse. This is live online tutoring for and homework help. There are many different resources here for many different ages that you can utilize if you need help in tutoring. The last link here is the general one file magazine. There are news and journal articles on general interest topics and current events. The last link that you'll notice here on the left is the Flipster online magazine. This is Flipster magazines. You can utilize this to read magazines online. Right now we have access to 12 magazines that you can read. In order to access these, you'll need this user ID as well as the password that's listed here. The easiest way to get these is to download the Flipster app and you can download on your, on your phone or on a tablet. It helps to download the app because it makes it easier to go through the pages and to see the back issues. You can also know which ones you want to read later and come back to those. And that's all of the online resources that our library currently offers. All of these resources are available 24 hours a day and you can access through through our website. If you have any trouble with any of these services, please call the library and we can help you figure out what might be going on. A common issue with services linked to your account is that your library card is blocked. If this happens or you're not sure what might be holding you up, please call the library. We hope that you enjoy all of these resources in addition to the services that we offer in the library. Here is the contact information for the library. To call the library, you can call 839-3850. You can also email. You can also find more information on our Facebook page. We update our Facebook page regularly. If you need further assistance with any of these programs, you can also schedule one-on-one -on -one session with a librarian. You'll get one hour of time and we'll sit down with you and help you to utilize any of these services. If you have any questions regarding that, please call the library. Thank you for watching. We hope that this helped you to navigate our website.